Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper, one of the Comms Prepper helpers. Hi Preppers. And it's video time here at the homestead, which means I have two lawn services out front making all sorts of noise, plus trucks in the street. We're going to push ahead with this video anyway. Today we're going to install the disc cone antenna up on the roof. I'm going to take down the two meter antenna I put up two years ago and put this wideband receive antenna up there that's resident for transmit purposes on 6 meter, 2 meters, 70 centimeters, 800 megahertz, and 1200 megahertz. And then we're going to hook this antenna up to the new USB SA44B spectrum analyzer and see what we have here in the neighborhood. So let me pause here, get everything up on the ladder. We're going to pull down the 2 meter antenna that we have up there now and replace it with the disc cone antenna. Alright guys, we're pulling down the old tram 2 meter antenna and this is where we're going to put the disc cone antenna. The hardware is very similar so we're going to use the same hardware. And we got the disc cone already up here. I brought the hardware up with me for whatever pieces I need. There's my 30 watt panel I use to keep my batteries topped off. So now we'll go ahead and swap out this antenna. So we got the disc cone antenna mounted on the homestead here with the exception of some black fingerprint marks on the mast there from the old weatherproofing electrical tape. It looks pretty good. So I'll head down off the roof here, we'll go inside, put the SWR meter on it, see how it does on 2 meters and 70 centimeters. And then later on this evening, we'll hook it up to the SB SA44B spectrum analyzer and see how we do with a wideband receive antenna. Alright guys, we got the ICOM ID880H D-Star mobile radio here, connected to the MFJ883 SWR watt meter. We're going to check the forward and reflected power of the new disc cone antenna we put on the roof. This is a 50 watt radio, so we have the range set to times 100, meaning a full scale deflection is 100 watts, so we should come up right around 5. The needle here is forward power, that's power we're sending to the antenna, that's the good power. We're looking for very little or no power coming back on this needle here. We're hoping this isn't going to move a lot. Now these two needles will cross, and where they cross on this display, these red lines will tell us the SWR, and based on the manual, at a minimum we want an SWR of 2 to 1 or less and that's this red line here and I've got other videos that cover SWR we're at the bottom end of the 2 meter band so we're going to hit the push to talk and see what the SWR is so look at that we're getting a full 50 watts out and barely moving the reflective power needle so that's a really good antenna that looks good to me I'm going to call that good we're going to change this frequency here to the high end of the 2 meter band and see how it does across the whole band. Okay, we're at the top end of the 2 meter band now, 147,900. The top end of the band is actually 148 megahertz. Let's see what the SWR looks like. And we have a little more SWR, but that's still coming out at 1.3 to 1. That's really good. That's not bad. That's well within specifications for this radio and really good for a typical 2 meter amateur radio antenna. Now we're at the bottom end of the calling frequency of the 70 centimeter band. Let's see what the SWR looks like on this disc cone. And that looks like a 1.4 to 1 or 1.3 to 1 SWR match. And that's well within typical amateur radio specifications. I'll operate on that all day long. Let's go to the higher end of this band and see how this antenna does. Now we're in the upper area of the 70 centimeter band. Let's see how this antenna does. Okay, that's about a 1.6 to 1, maybe 1.7 to 1. Not as good as some of the other frequencies, but still well within specifications for most amateur radio equipment. I'm very happy with the performance of this antenna, the SWR. And in a future video, we're going to connect this antenna and see how it does for its wideband receive coverage when we hook it up to the USB SA44B spectrum analyzer. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with a little antenna project here at the homestead of installing a disc cone antenna. Thanks for watching guys.